High on the net, arc speaking, water, snow, mud, gravel, depending on a road's condition, different styles and strategies are implemented to keep up safety regulations while still trying to maintain maximum efficiency, or in our case, speed. In today's episode for the bootcamp, we're talking about different types of road in Mario Kart Wii, how many there are, and the differences between them. Now we'll be using Funky Kong Flame Runner as a baseline for these demonstrations, as it's the combination most people in the community are already familiar with. First, Normal Road. At drift speed, also known as normal or automatic speed, you can move up to 84 AKMH, and at wheelie speed you could go up to 97 AKMH. This is the most common type of road you'll be racing on in this game. Out of the 32 Nintendo tracks, 28 of them have at least a little bit of normal road somewhere on the track. Next, Slippery Road. There are two kinds of Slippery Road. Slippery Road Type 1 just affects handling. Courses like Dry Dry Ruins or DK Jungle Parkway can be very difficult tracks to drive if you're just getting into the game, as the lower traction makes it so you have to think more about how to enter a turn and how to exit one. If you're struggling controlling your vehicle on this type of road, a strong recommendation is to stay about 25% to the outside from the center of the road when attacking the corner. Then once you begin to get familiar with the track, you can work your way up to the limits. Another less common option is to use a shroom or some kind of a speed altering item to help corner on slippery surfaces, as the boost from a shroom nullifies the slippery effect. Be careful though, because shrooms often mess up players when trying to chain items, as the sudden change in terrain makes you go from too dull to too tight if you're not expecting it. Slippery Road Type 2, as far as I could tell, is pretty much the same as Type 1, the only difference being on Type 2, you lose some speed as well. So you could think of Type 2 as Slippery Road with a slight off-road effect, which is why the BKT for Retro Sherboat Land uses the Magic Cruiser instead of the Flame Runner, as the Magic Cruiser, despite being a slower vehicle, loses less relative speed because of its high off-road stat. Now, I was doing some testing, and according to what I found, only one out of the 32 Nintendo tracks actually has Type 2 Slippery Road, which is Sherboat Land. Which honestly blew my mind, because all this time I thought Shy Guy Beach also had Type 2 Slippery Road. But after testing it, I found that it only had Type 1. Speaking of off-road, let's cover those next. There are three types of off-road. Weak off-road, normal off-road, and high off-road, or heavy off-road. Weak off-road drops our funky speed from 84 AKMH to 50 flat. However, you can still hop, drift, and control your vehicle just at a lower speed. Courses like Grumble Volcano and Shy Guy Beach has weak off-road pretty much surrounding the entire track. Normal off-road drops our speed down all the way to 31 AKMH, and exists pretty much on every track that doesn't have an out-of-bounds or wall surrounding it. Now, how normal off-road dictates whether you could drift off-road or not is purely dependent on your combo's off-road score being over 50. So the off-road stat for the Flame Runner is 21, and Funky Kong doesn't have any off-road bonuses, so a vehicle combination like the Flame Runner can't drift off-road. Compare that to a vehicle like the Quacko. The Quacko has an off-road stat of 48, so normally it can't drift off-road. However, if you combo the Quacko with Toadette, who has an off-road stat of 6, now all of a sudden, with a value of 54, you could drift off-road. This game has a lot of those intricate little features that if you're not paying close enough attention, you will never actually notice until you lap it out. The last kind of off-road is called Heavy Off-Road. With a top speed of 18 AKMH, there are only two places where heavy off-road really exists on an RT. The DK Summit Cotton Candy, and the Bowser's Castle Wii Mud sections where the fireballs go through. Generally speaking, the Cotton Candy is pretty much the only problem that you might suffer with, so be sure to abuse the zippers on DKS as much as you can. Alright, so we covered roads that slow you down or slip you around, but how about the roads that speed you up? On Toad's Factory, Yoshi Falls, and Koopa Cape they have conveyors and water slides respectively, so how do they work? Well, using our conventional equipment, you may notice our speedometers don't actually show any real change when on a water slide or on a conveyor. However, they are very obviously making us go faster or slower, so this is where we need to get a little creative. Obviously, you move faster when moving with the current, and you move slower when going against the current. So we need to find out how much energy, if you will, the current of KC and TF has. I started with Toad's Factory. By timing the distance between the first conveyor and comparing it to the identical distance off the conveyor, you could get a rough idea of how much speed they're producing. By doing a simple math equation, I got a value of 109 AKMH. 
meaning the conveyors produce an additional 25 AKMH. Now to make sure that this game actually used a simple 1 equals 10, so 2 equals 20 formula, I ran next to the ghost first at shroom speed, which is 117 AKMH, which should be a little faster than the conveyor. And it was, which is good. And then I ran next to it in a story at 105 AKMH. It should be a little slower than the conveyor. And sure enough, it was. Real quick, I just want to say that I love doing these little tests. This experiment actually blew my mind. Because I didn't know that going on the conveyors on Toad's factory is faster than driving in a store around the conveyors. The more you know. One final test I wanted to see is if the conveyors actually stack speed. So for instance, if I was driving a store over a conveyor, would I move any faster? Well, kind of. It does stack, but only with certain items. For shrooms, I saw no difference on or off the conveyors. But when on the conveyor, a star goes up to basically the same speed as shrooming and wheeling. In the test, I got 119 AKMH for star conveyor. Remember, normal star is 105. But when doing the math, I got a top speed of 117 AKMH, which actually makes sense because stars don't have instant acceleration. So there was a little bit of speed loss there. So now let's go to KC and cross our fingers, hope that the formulas are the same. To test that, the first thing I did was switch the transmission from manual to automatic. That way I don't lose speed when turning. Then I went to the longest strip of road and water I could find. And after measuring them both out with a video editor, the water slide clocks in at 105 AKMH, compared to the TF-109. Granted, I couldn't go in a straight line, so my test may be a little faulty on KC. If anyone knows how to edit the actual KMP or KCL of KC and compare them against TF, let me know the results down in the comments below. As far as I could tell, they're pretty close. The last type of road we'll be covering today is Sticky Road. Of course, that once you learn about it, you have no choice but to put it in every custom track that you make. Sticky Road is a type of road, as you probably could have guessed by the name, that makes roads easier to stick to. The three most common places you see Sticky Road on RTs is on the Maple Treeway tree branches, the downward section of Rainbow Road, and the downward sections of Royals Goldmine. If you've ever held a drift down after the cave section on Royals Goldmine, you may have been flung off the track. Generally speaking, sticky roads that change altitude, you want to go straight off of it, as a drift makes sticky roads, well, dangerous. I want to shout out Zatch real quick for making the test map that I'm sure you've seen a few times in this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to do all the YouTube stuff, like, commenting, subbing, all that jazz. And if you want to see some of what you just learned in action, be sure to check out my Twitch channel. Same name as the YouTube channel, twitch.tv slash Hope to see you over there, and happy racing.